Hello, this is a quick review of the flight controller Flip32 for Banggood.com that will try to answer the question why so cool the Flip32 board. First of all, it's because it's fully equipped. It has all the sensors you may want, accelerometer, gyro, compass and barometer. Most of the flight controllers will only have accelerometer and gyro, but they will not have a compass or baro and they can be very useful for other features and other modes. So for the price, it's perfect to have all these uh, four sensors that will provide you a 10 DOF flight controller board, so with uh, 10 uh, degrees of freedom. Second, it has a great processor. Comparing to other flight controllers and Arduino boards that have only eight bits, the Flip32 has 32 bits and 72 megahertz. If you want to understand how huge this difference is, think that not so long ago computers were running 32-bit uh, processors and the previous uh, 16 bits, so the previous jump uh, and the 16 bits uh, processors were back in the 80s uh, with the 8086 computer, personal computer that we had by that time. So a well, long time ago, 35 years ago. And if we want to go to the 8-bit processor, we should go back in the 70s with the Spectrum and Amastra. You know, the, those with the old cassette. It's not only about how big is that jump, but it's also about the importance, the uh, aim, in this case, of the board, of the uh, CPU. Because if you take into account that uh, your life doesn't depend on how fast you edit a document, but a drone does, and you will quickly understand how important for a flight controller is to be as quick and responsive as possible. Third, it has great software. Both the firmware and the software to control are great in the Flip32. You can install several firmwares and you have several applications uh, based on MultiWii. You have a uh, base flight, you have clean flight, and probably one of the best at least in my opinion, is the clean flight. And it's quickly evolving and it's so easy, so simple to control. You can use it in all platforms that can handle Chrome, uh, like uh, Windows, Mac or uh, Linux. Something you will not get with Mission Planner uh, for Ardu Ardu Pilot and other boards of that family. Because, at least in my experience, you can have problems with ActiveX, with the graphic drivers, and it, according to your uh, operating system, even if, it, if it's Windows, still you could have problems. Fourth, cheap extras. For example, if you want to add distance sensors for the Flip32, you can get them for about $1 or something like this. And for the Arduino Pilot, usually the sensors will be about $20 and, and things like this, and they are a little bit more uh, different. It's true that they are better, but at the end, you will get the, the same information about distance. So it's not too worth it, I think. You can also add LEDs for a few dollars. You have plenty of variations in Banggood that you can get. And you can change the color, for example, for the modes, for the warnings, for uh, the direction of the um, drum. And I might remember it has also a pressure sensor and compass built in. So, um, of course, they are for free, and you can add different modes due to these uh, sensors. For example, in the case of the compass, you can have three additional uh, modes. Do easier the way of handling your uh, drone, and uh, when it's rotating through itself, you can get it back to you easily. Fifth, it's a small. It's only 35 by 35 millimeters, and if you compare to Arduino Pilot, it's almost uh, the half of the size. And if you take into account that uh, the cables and the connectors will go from the top, then the, the size will be much even bigger. So for uh, mini copters uh, below 250 millimeters, the Ardu Pilot is probably not suitable. And six, it's cheap. All the previous features would be nothing without a good price. And that's the case. And actually it's a really good price, 21 euros only for uh, all the sensors, all the features I described before. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do apologize for all my grammar mistakes and pronunciation. Thank you very much. See you soon.